right, let's go ahead and put together the your rotate module. Now, unfortunately, I already had mine put together, so I disassembled it for um, to do this instructional video. So basically, the first thing I want to go over is the the rollers. You will need to take the end pieces off, and then you're also going to need to take these little white cap ends off here. If I can, I can't get mine back off now. Come on, here we go. You're gonna need to take them off. And what you're looking for is you want approximately, if I say it correct, I believe it's 19 millimeters. About, let me see, 19 point, um, let me just say that again here. I got 20, yeah, about 20 actually. I have about 20 millimeters from the part that's cut. So what you're going to want to do, the first thing I'll recommend is to just take a little pair of scissors or something and snip the end of the plastic uh, protective cover and you're going to want to peel that all the way off. And once you peel it all the way off, you're going to have the foam roller here. And then the foam roller, well you're going to take the, the white ends off first and you're going to take the foam roller, you're going to measure in about about 20 centimeters. I have 20.5, but I'm going to say 20, and I'm going to say 20 centimeters. And then you're going to take a little razor knife and you're just going to kind of cut right around the little foam there, and then just kind of pull that off. And then you're going to want to put the white cap back on, which should be pretty snug. And then, okay, now that we have the rods, the 20 millimeters, um, the first thing, let's do this. Let's take these bearings and we're going to put them on. And that's my bird. And we're going to take one of these gears at the end here. I'm just going to snug it right up to it. The big flat end, whoops, goes outward. As you can see it there, it's going to go outward. And then we're going to take the bearing, put it on there. And we're just going to tighten this down. Pretty snug, nothing super tight. We're going to do the same thing with this other one. Um, doesn't really matter what side, doesn't matter because they're both the same. Just make sure that the flat end, the bigger end, is that, that way. And get another of these gears. Whoop, sorry. No, actually, one of these um, is one of these here. I thought they were all the same, but they're not. <clears throat> sorry. Um, the diameter inside of these shafts here are larger than the one for the stepper motor. So. Make sure you use the right one, which you can only use the right one because it's smaller. But um, so we'll do them first. Snug on there. Okay. And then there. Now my other videos, I assembled them a little bit different, and and I found a little bit easier way to do this. So let's go ahead and put this together um, a little bit different this time see if this works out better. So let's go ahead and put these plates on. We're going to put the plates on. Basically, you're going to get one of these large um, screws and we're going to get one of these little uh, washers, the bigger washers, and we're going to put that in there like that. And you might as well do that with all of them because we're going to go ahead and put them all together. And basically, you're going to go to the bottom of the plate. So the bottom, you have the bigger holes in the top and then the smaller ones on the bottom. And then this in the center here, and this is going to be the back plate. So basically the big holes go on the top. So we're going to put it here and we're going to put this in and try and get this in here. My hand gets started. Same thing here. Just get them started. Lift that up, Let's do it snug. Now I like to make sure they're flat, they're not turned at all. And make sure they're flat to the table and then snug them down and do not over tighten because this is acrylic and it will snap very easily. So same thing with this end, we want the larger holes at the top and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put the screws in right into the rail 
them in by hand at first. I always like doing them by hand at first, just way you don't accidentally cross thread or nothing like that. And it should spin freely. Same thing here, just want them in there snug. And then again, see if you notice here, see that wobble? That's why I always say, make sure it's flat. Make sure they're absolutely flat before you do your final tightening. And I like to just hold my hand there because, you know, the precision of the rotary and your laser, that all does make a difference. Even the slightest bit off, uh, you know, even a half a millimeter by the time you go a certain distance could be one and a half millimeters. So that'll make a big difference for you. So let's go ahead and put the uh, rollers on. We're going to do the motor last and I'm going to show you why. So the rotors, I'm sorry, the rollers are going to go in this end first and the gear is going to be on the end where the motor is going to go. So let's put them in and they're going to go, you're going to see them slide, snap right into that hole there, like that. And then this end, we're going to put this bearing and it should go right inside that hole as well. And then you have this little cap and it goes right on the end. So what I like to do is just hold my thumb on here and put my other index finger right here on the little cap here and then just tighten it up. Just snug, you know, just keep tension on it so that there's no play in it. And then we're going to snug that up. And it's super important that there is no play in this whatsoever. It turns very, very nice. It's good. Um, if you'll notice the, uh, the white, um, little end cap here is pretty much up to the plate. It should not be back here and you don't want it too far. And if it's too long and it's scrunching this here, if you notice that it's like scrunching it, then take this cap back off and just cut that back a little bit. Cause I like it to be right there where it's flashed with the back plate. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to push this in. It's going to go in inside there. We're going to put the cap on, I'm sorry, the bearing and it's going to, pop right in. So I'm holding my finger here. And then now again, I'm holding my thumb. So it's pulling tension this way. And we're going to put this little end cap on and then we're going to tighten this up. And again, very, very important. There's no play. If there's a little bit of play, loosen this up. Actually, I thought I fell up. Nope. But again, it should spin freely. If you notice, like this one's a little bit tighter, I mean, you might want to just, because it is a little bit tighter, just loosen it just a tad, whoops, right, not that much, just a tad, and then not pull as tight, um, but definitely a little bit snug, and then, yeah, that's better. Still no play, but now it turns nice, very, very, very nice. So that's what we have so far, very nice. That's the back plate. So let's go ahead and put this belt over like so. And I found this to be a little easier way to put this on. So pretty much what we're going to want to do is this gear goes on. <clears throat> if you notice on the motor here, there is a flat spot. You'll see it on yours. There's a flat spot on it. And one of these um, set nuts, you want to make sure it goes right over top of that. And then the other one can be wherever, but you want one of them has to go right over top of that. And I would just put it on a little bit like that. We're not going to go, uh, we're going to readjust this once we get it on, but just go ahead and tighten that one on first. And then the other one just snug and we're going to readjust it and I'll show you why. So if you're looking at the machine, basically you're looking at it now just like this, like I am. This in here where the gears are, you're going to want a this way so that if this is your laser here back on this back left corner is your control where, where your wiring is going to plug into your wiring harness so that being the case you're going to want your 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 motor harness facing that direction so you want your motor harness facing this way so your your wiring could come right out actually it's going to be like this doesn't really matter as long as so your wiring harness can come out 
and go right into the thing there because if it's facing upward, it's got to come up through here or through here and you don't want to do any of that. Or obviously it can't be facing down because it's going to hit the bottom and you don't want to face in that way. So I pretty much do it just like this so that the wiring harness is facing away from you when you're putting it together. So basically it's going to be like so. When you're looking at this end right here, the wiring harness is coming out this way. So the reason why I waited to do the motor last is I found this a little easier is to the motor is going to go just right through the hole here. And then these four screws are basically going to go in to the slots there. You're going to take your little um, screw and you're going to put it right into the washer on all of them. As you can see here, separate here. And the easiest thing I found is to go ahead and put the motor on top of the gear. So you're pretty much already have it in place, like so. And then, so just come up through the bottom, put it in there, and then just go ahead and put one of your screws in. You can actually hold it up like that if that if that's better for you, which it is for, whoops, it is for me. Um, you might wanna get your little thing in there like that. So I've got one in now, and then I'm just gonna do the others. And don't worry about the tension of all this yet because we're going to, um, I'm gonna readjust it in a second here. All right, well, that didn't work out well. It's hard to do and on the camera at the same time here. So I pretty much just go in there like that. So they're just gonna be a little bit, you don't even really have to make them snug, you just have to be in there. And then same thing with this one. I, I actually find it better to put it onto the piece and then just kind of put it and lightly turn and it'll go right into it. Yeah, just like that. And the same thing with the bottom one. So I found this to be a little bit easier way to put this together and I've done it a couple times. So now before we tighten up those four screws, they're just on there right now, just snug. But before we tighten them, let me show you something that's super important. If you're looking at this gear on your motor, and these two gears here. And if you can see, but my end is in too far. And if you look right down here, you can see it's actually rubbing up against the top here. So that's not good. So this gear needs to come out more. So the best thing to do is turn it upside down and just look straight here. I'm gonna put it for the camera, look straight down like this. See, straight down. And you can kind of see it now. So now that it's upside down, turn this gear here. Let's unloosen one of them. Just a little bit and then now it's come turn it back and let's unloosen the other one now that I have it loose you see how now it's, it's nicer now you see how it's nice and fits in there nice so it's perfect aligned with the other ones and now that I have that I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down and tighten this down you, and you want to also make sure you pay attention you don't turn it all around because you still want this on that flat piece of your shaft but if you look at it now it's actually pretty perfect lined up so now that we have that you just turn it over, make sure these, make sure all your wheels here are loose. Let me do this again. You don't want them tight. You just want to be loose so we can move this motor up and down here. So we're going to just make sure these are a little bit loose. That's one. And this can move up and down. And we're just going to hold our finger lightly on it, down, and you'll notice the tension on it. And, you know, if I don't hold my finger on it, you see it moving? So I'll hold my finger, just a little bit of tension. And then while I'm holding my finger, I'm going to go ahead and Tighten one of the top ones, top left, and I'm going to go down to bottom right. If I can get in there. And then the top right, and then bottom left. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So now the tension's good. Make sure that that turns nice. It does. If I turn just the gear here, everything turns smooth. There's no play. This is what the end should look like. A little bit of tension here. Make sure that's all lined up. Perfect. Um, this is the back end. Okay. And then again, when you set it down, it should be perfectly level now and you should be good to go. So I'm gonna, and then obviously the wiring harness is coming up, which I call the back, which if you're looking at it on your machine, this is the way it's gonna be. So it's coming out the back. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I connect this up. And that's it. All right, so basically what we're gonna do here is 
your stepper motor, you can see here, your harness. You're gonna get the wire that came with it and you're gonna use the bigger end. I'm gonna plug it right in to the stepper motor here, right through the side. And then again, this is your laser. This is gonna be your gantry for your laser and you're coming back. Now, I personally like to come back and under this rail, and then you're gonna plug it into your control board and I'm gonna switch my camera so you can see. I like to do it with my gears on the right side so that, you know, I just change it 90 degrees. So let me go ahead and change my camera view here for you. Okay, now that we're at the back side here. So I have, this is our old laser board, if you still have that. And then this is our new laser board with the new um, 40 watt. So basically, let's start with the old one. If you have the old laser board, this right here is your Y-axis. And this is the one that you're going to want to disconnect because this is what we're going to tell the software to use is the Y. So you're going to disconnect your plug and you're going to plug this one into here if you have the old circuit board still. So that's where it goes. And then, of course, underneath the rail right there. Now, if you have the new one, you're going to use this one. This is your Y. You're just going to pull it off and then you're just going to plug it in up top there like so. And so this is your Y axis on the new one and this is your Y axis on the old board. And from there, you pretty much just have to configure it in the software. And I have another video for that. So go check it out. Alrighty, have a good day. Jungle. Thank you.